I know, I know, don't mess with them when it's raining, don't mess with them when it's cloudy, don't mess with them in the evening, don't mess with them when there's a combination of that going on. Like now. Hey guys, Barry's Best Honey, I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to my 2020 beekeeping season, where I take you all the way from winter through the next fall here in Southeast Louisiana in my little operation. Remember guys, it's not a how-to video, but if you pick up any tips and tricks, wonderful. And if you have any tips and tricks for me, be sure and leave a comment below. Well. It is evening, it is cloudy, and it just got done raining. But I mixed up some feed uh, last night. I need to get it in there. One thing about sugar water, sugar syrup, whatever you want to call it, it'll get moldy. I say it won't go bad, I guess, but it just gets moldy. And I don't know that that hurts the bees, but I don't think it helps them. So I want to put it in now. Got a 30 degree day coming on Friday. So they'll suck most of it dry by then. What's left's not gonna hurt them to be in the feeder. We're going all internal, no hive tops. And that is, I don't want any hive tops right now because those plastic feeders tend to condensate really bad. So I'm gonna go internal. One's already installed, I have to install one. So it could get interesting. The other three or two should just be bottle feeders. That's gonna be easy. So I'm gonna get started on this because it's getting dark. You're not supposed to mess with the bees right now. You probably think I got mean bees. I really don't. I just tend to do things opposite of what they tell you. That's all. Let's get started. All right, folks. We're going to use this. This hive's already got a feeder in it. I'm actually going to pull it up a little bit. This hive is small and light. This is the one that came from Livingston. I got this can here. Oop. A little bit dripped on the side. It's a two gallon can, but half can in each one. All right, we know they have some food. We're feeding. This hive here, let's move you to the next one. A little smoke to these girls here. Okay. I'm gonna try and pop two frames out, put this feeder in there. Do that by taking this trap, moving it over one. I'll put these in the freezer. Now's when we get them riled up. Okay, that's one. Whoa, y'all fell over. Y'all fell over again. It's dark out here. I'm gonna shake this one off. I got them going. Alright, I switched sides. 
switch sides and see what we're doing here. I don't know. Oh man. Well, we got a little bit on the floor. So hopefully they'll clean that up. There we go. Let's get our lid on. We're done. We're done. Get the rest of these bees off. they'll find their way back in. And that's it for that. All right. Let's move on. Folks, I sure hope it's not too. I hope it's not too dark. These are easy. A little smoke on them, get them back down out the hole. Take this jar. I'll give it a shake just to get some out. And I just stick it right in there. I'm gonna leave it like that. Done. That might be a much little bunch for that one it's so small um i'm gonna have to watch it i don't want it to drain down and kill them when it gets cold but i'll see if they're drinking it just walk out here tomorrow that's it all right let's get done with this it's dark well that's it folks looks like i'm wrapped up for the night real quick video i hope I had to go feed those. Uh, those are the light hives that we identified when we were going through the other ones there in the video uh, during the splits and during the reversals. I had uh, four light hives. I got four fed. I actually have five, but the fifth one, um, it doesn't have a top feeder. I don't want to put a front entrance in. It doesn't have enough room for a, a frame feeder because those are one gallon ones. So I'm going to have to um, just pick and choose when I want to feed those. I may put a... Um, Boardman front entrance feeder in there uh, just for a couple days see what happens but I don't want to I don't want to get anything dripping out of the front and get them robbed I did spill a little bit in one of those went through the screen board I cleaned up the little uh, chloroplast I have in there so that should be fine and we have one thirty degree day coming so as much as I hate to feed them when there's cold coming with the syrup because um, they don't take it then it's not going to freeze so that's fine so we should be good and it's only one day it's almost 80 out there now. I'm already breaking a sweat and humid. What type of feed might I be using? Well, it's sugar syrup. Is it two to one or one to one? It's in between the one. I don't know what it is. I put about 10 or 15 pounds of sugar in there and threw some water to it and made it about thick as two to one. But thinned it out a little bit. They'll drink it. They'll eat it. They'll store it. They'll do what they need to with it. We've got about three weeks before I need to not worry and be out of the woods on any kind of feed. Now, I did not feed to jumpstart my bees, jumpstart my bees. That was something I learned, or read about rather, 
my first few years, everybody talking about jump starting bees. Now, I have no reason to jump start my bees. I don't have time to chase swarms. They will swarm if you jump start them and don't keep up with them. A lot of people do it, and that's great. And it grows bees fast. I had to do it last year due to some situations. I, I did need to grow some hives, and they they grew, but you got to watch them. They grow fast when you start putting a one-to-one -one sugar water in there, and they think there's a good nectar, nectar source coming. They produce fast, so that's not what that was. That was simply uh, to keep them on going because the nectar the nectar is limited. But uh, it's done. Done deal. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And uh, share this video with your friends and family. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I did bees tonight. Y'all have a great evening. God bless y'all.